my microscope just came in the mail, so we're going to be unboxing it together. And I'm so excited, I cannot wait. So I have my warranty. And this is the SW350 series. Pretty nice, so let's get into it. It's actually really cute. It's really nice. Let's take it to my desk. It's a trinocular compound microscope. This is mainly geared towards hobbyists and laboratory applications. And um, the manufacturer recommends that this be used for professionals and students that just want to study samples like bacteria or plants and soil or water samples and stuff like that. So I take it that this scope has all the same features that would be on a clinical grade microscope. Kind of like what I use at work as a medical laboratory scientist, except this one is just a lot more affordable. Yeah, we have the objectives already loaded onto the microscope. The 10X, the 4X, 40X, and 100X. I honestly would have preferred to have 10X 40, 50, and 100. One thing that's already annoying me is this head. I don't know why it's set up like that. I haven't seen how I can adjust it, but that is too loose for me. It makes a really loud noise. I don't like that. Okay, that's a little, that's a little better. The binoculars also come with um, like a precision marker so that you can find a really good viewpoint. Um, let's take the wrapping off. And look at the stage. So, one thing that I, I really wanted on this microscope was a mechanical stage. And it already has it loaded on as well. I don't have to put anything together with this one. Another thing I like is this arm. Like, I've never been able to just move a microscope so seamlessly. This is your mechanical stage on top. It's ready to use right out of the box. Let me see if the light bulb is in there. I'm so used to having literal knobs for my course and fine adjustments. I've never had dials. <laughs> so I hope that it is precise. So we have all of our ocular lenses. Um, we got a wide field 10X. Wide field 10X gonna put it on. <laughs> I don't want to put it on the table. And just pop it just like that. So that's one. I assume the other ones are 25x which I don't necessarily need that much magnification so I don't know if I'm really going to use them. But we will see. Okay. A filter. For light microscopy, most times we're already using proper lighting, so we don't necessarily need filters to cancel out lights or anything, so I probably won't have to use that either. And it did come with a replacement bulb, so hopefully I don't have to use that either. <laughs> Here's my power cord. So yeah, let's power this bad boy up. It works! My light came on. All right, um, let me grab the rest of my accessories because I did buy some other stuff on the Amazon too. Okay. 
So the first thing I bought were slides with cover slips. I did get alcohol wipes since I'll have to use immersion oil. I also got Kim wipes to clean lenses as well. This is supposed to be a phone holder. So I can prop my phone up on this objective. <laughs> oh, here's my other lens. <laughs> so it did come with a third lens for the microscope. How is that? So I had to figure out how to rig this up so I can use my phone. that piece let me let me do this off camera so after a lot of work I did get my phone mounted <laughs> it's not in the greatest position I wanted it on this trinocular lens the third lens but my phone just isn't working with the wide field 25x so I'm thinking I'll just have to play with that later but our first slide is an amoeba and I'm on the lowest objective. So this is what they look like. And like I said earlier, the stuff that I'm gonna be looking at is too small to be using <laughs> a 4X lens. But I mean, you can kind of see the amoeba there. We move to 10X, you can see them as well. And of course, my phone probably won't be as clear as your actual eyes, but it's just cool that you can see what I see. Here's 40. That's the amoeba. So the next thing we're gonna look at is yeast. This is 4X, which you won't be able to see anything because they're microscopic. Then we go to 10X. This is 40X. We are going to use this mystery oil that I found in the container, but it kind of exploded on me when I tried to open it up just a little while ago. So. I don't know why they would put something in there that's not labeled, but um, I don't see what else I would use this for besides my 100X lens. But it's just the topper does not work. <laughs> uh. For whatever reason, there's not a good seal on this. I need something to get the oil off. What should I use? What should I use? What should I use? I don't have any kind of anything. I need this oil. All right. Just gonna put a little tiny drop. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay. So this is 100X. Turn the light up and you can see the different cells. This is the full, the brightest it'll go. And I'll snap a picture. Well, one thing that this scope does not have is, like some of them have a stopper. When you're moving the course adjustment knob too far, it stops so that you don't break your slides. This one does not have that. So if you're were wondering about the phone holder, this was like $17 on Amazon. I just searched um, like microscope holder, but I think this is made more so for telescopes. You could just use it for a microscope. So I'm glad it worked. So now let's talk about some specifications. When we get into discussing objective lenses and magnification and stuff, this can go up to 2500X. So you multiply your highest objective lens number with your highest ocular lens. 25 with 100, so that puts us at 2500X magnification. I do not think that you need that much magnification. Um, for most microscopic things, I, the max you would need to use is 1000. 2500, I can't even fathom that it would be a clear picture. I think most scopes, you just really need to use 10X ocular and the 100X objective to get a clear picture of something. The swivel head is really nice because if you wanted to quickly show somebody 
You just gotta turn it like that. You don't have to move the whole entire microscope. <laughs> so that part's nice. It just, it makes a weird noise, so I'm not used to it. This is like at a 30 degree angle. So you don't have to worry about getting like a crick in your neck or anything, but this is not adjustable. It does not move up or down. So what you get is what you get. <laughs> just find an adjustable chair, I guess, if you're going to plan to use this sitting down. But I think overall it is a nice microscope. It has really good quality and I don't foresee any issues with the actual microscope. Um, the logistics and stuff, that was just, that's something I need to figure out <laughs> on my own. But the only thing I would change about this is the coarse and fine. The dial, I feel like is overcompensating. So every time you turn it, it turns just a little bit more. <laughs> it makes it hard to get a clear image, which you can see in the footage that I showed you. Other than that, it's a pretty nice microscope. I can't wait to get started using it. Okay, so let's talk about price. I purchased this microscope on Amazon for $270 which I think is a great price for my purpose of use and to have the third um, ocular lens. And once I figure out how to mount my camera to it, it'll be really good for capturing videos and stuff. Yeah, I think less than $300 for a trinocular microscope is really good. I did not get the camera option, but it was more money than I felt like paying for. But if you get the camera, you know, it's specifically adapted for this lens. I went the cheaper alternative to find a adapter for my phone, but as you can see, I kind of had some technical difficulties. So if you want the camera to record your footage, then definitely go with the one that comes with the Swift microscope. Another thing I'll note is if you are a first time microscope user, I probably wouldn't spend this much money. There are a lot of cheaper options. If you just want the binocular version, it's cheaper than a trinocular. And if you just want the monocular version, it's gonna be the cheapest one where you just have one um, eyepiece. And if you are just beginning the hobby, I would definitely look into some cheaper options. <laughs> just so you can learn how to use the microscope. Then get this fancy bad boy later after you've had time to develop your microscopy skills. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I guess that's all I have for today. Hopefully it was a little enjoyable and informative if you're looking at purchasing a new microscope. And thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe for my microscopy hobby journey. And I'll see you guys later.